Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, and Jeremy and I, we're going to go to the... Get off my lawn! The farmer's market. We're going to the farmer's market, and we're going to go get some jam. Today's video is basically going to be me cooking Jeremy a full day's meal. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you guys want to see what I cooked, and if I can even cook, and what he thought about my cooking, then stay tuned. What, brother? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you what? mind if I, uh, are you heading to the farmer's market? Yeah. May I, may I get a ride with you? Yeah, get the... Are Damn, you single? This, this fashion. Are you single? No. <laughs> Wait, so we can sample anything here? Those, those. What about the strawberries? You like sample the strawberries? Yeah, you should get one here. Okay, thank you. Wow. Tell me how it tastes. He's got to grab all the stems in one, you know? Mmm. Yum, yum. It looks like perfect. <laughs> got orange. Fire? You should get some. Pie? Yeah, we got many pies. Wow. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Thanks. That's so cute. Do you love pies? But I know you can't eat them. My turn. Mm, very oh, that's like the best pest yeah. juice I've had. We got Kara Kara oranges mm. because this was so sweet, so juicy. And then we also got my favorite yellow peppers. Yellow Hopefully pepper. these are spicy. And I mean, I could have honestly got so much from like Ralph's or something, but we'll see if this is any different. Then we also have Cali dip from the same vendor. This was so flavorful, so delicious. And we also have some pasta. These are handmade, homemade pasta. Beef ravioli with the classic marinara sauce. We're, we're trying to recreate Chef Boyardee. Exactly. Uh, and then what else did we get? Oops, sorry. And then we got a jar of raw honey. And then we have this one, Fuji apple butter. We're super excited to try this. We didn't find any like jam, but this is close enough. So let's see. Yummy. And then Jeremy got his little treat. I got him a uh, Le Labo scent. So if you guys want to know how he smells like, it's, uh, what is it called? Another 13. Another 13. All right, happy birthday. Thank you. I'm back from the farmer's market and Jeremy likes a typical American breakfast. So bacon, eggs, and toast. And that's what I'm going to make him. Also, he's very particular about how he wants things cooked. He doesn't like microplastics, uh, so we have to cook in a cast iron skillet. And also, even when it comes to like salt and pepper, he grinded it himself and put it in this stone, whatever the heck. Anyways, makes my life harder. Okay guys, so I'm gonna cook the bacon first. This section, we're gonna toast our bread. This bread is whole wheat sesame bread from Tartine. We froze it because we knew we weren't gonna eat it the day we got it, so we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put some butter. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over now. Now with the bacon fat still on there, I'm gonna crack some eggs. I like my yolks popped and he likes it just sunny side. Because the bacon is salty, I'm just going to add some pepper. Some garlic powder. And my most favorite, chili. Crushed chili. Then I also like to add this little chili oil. And on this side, I'm just going to cut him the car car oranges. Just 
just one. So we don't want the bread to get too hard, so I'm just gonna stop it there. And I'm gonna put the jam. It's not really like, it's not really jam. I don't even know what it is. Like you could see that the consistency is just like applesauce, but hopefully he likes it. And this is our breakfast. Okay, so let's bring it to Jeremy. Hello. Breakfast is served. Oh. <laughs> breakfast is served. So he usually eats in his office. We can eat together. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yippee, what a treat. All right, and you get your chocolate milk. Do I get a microphone? No. Okay. Wow, look at this. I'm just gonna use. Mmm. Mmm. You need a dining room table. Mmm. <laughs> we do. Everything is delicious. Eggs are delicious. Whatever you season these eggs with, absolutely magnificent. And your bacon is perfectly crispy the way I like it. Mmm. Let's try this toast. Your friend was like super hyped about it. Oh, the bread? <laughs> so crispy. I love it. Mm. The center is soft. Mm -hmm. The outside got a little crispy mm -hmm. and then the inside is soft. I didn't want to cook it more because the outside was going to burn. Honestly, I like the sweetness. Everything's delicious. Mm. It's a little burnt for me. Orange meets a grapefruit. You're not having dinner tonight. <laughs> Video's over. Actually, I made Jeremy a snack today. We have these chips that I just happen to have, jalapeno lime chips. And then the dip that we bought today, it's called Cali Dip. I just gave him a little bit because he has too much snacks. So yeah, I'm gonna give him some of this, and then I'm also gonna give him some tortilla chips. Hey, my dear. Wow, thank you. Tell me which chip you like better. Um, hold on, let me hide my parking tickets that I have to pay. <laughs> which chip do I like better? Okay. Mm -hmm. Tortilla chips. What do you think about the dip? The dip, incredible. Okay. That's the Hold jalapeno on. lime jalapeno chip. Lime. That one's supposed to be like pretty healthy for you. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the blue corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. This one, it has some flavor powdering on it and the dip is already, it's like messing with the dip flavor. I see. Here, come try. I was gonna say that the tortilla yeah. chip has like that strong, you know, like that corn taste. Yeah, but that one has like a jalapeno pepper. Okay, you got it, right? Mm. Now you taste the chip with the sauce or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, look, evenly coated. Corn, you can just you get more of the dip flavor, which I prefer. Mm. Wait, why, am I, why am I not filming you? <laughs> and it's crispy. Yeah. So you agree? Yeah. You like the jalapeno better? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the jalapeno with all the flavor. I like the jalapeno one better. What? So I went to Whole Foods and the Korean market and I bought a whole bunch of things, spent about like $250 on groceries. Uh, and I also bought some snacks. So I got a mixture of like unhealthy snacks and like quote unquote healthy snacks. So we have like the healthy snacks, like the puffs. And then we also got the popcorn and the unhealthy snacks. <laughs> There's only two healthy snacks. The unhealthy snacks are Haichu, Kit Kat. These are so good. And then we also have um, my childhood favorite, this kind of like pie type. We have the Cocoheim, then we have the Whiteheim. 
And then this, oh my god. It's called korebap in Korean. Apparently it's called Marine Boy. But basically it's just like, oh god, it's, I don't even know how to explain it. It's really good. But yeah, this is for the podcast and for the guest. Now that we have all of our groceries, for lunch we're gonna have a Korean noodle dish called chanchi guksu. And if you directly translate it, it's called party noodles. <laughs> but apparently on Google it's called warm Korean warm noodles. But I'll show you guys how I make it. There's no rules in cooking, okay? So don't come after me. I can make it however I want. We have quite a bit of ingredients. It's an easy dish, but just a lot of ingredients. First off, the main thing is somyeon. This is like rice noodles. And we also have these vegetables. We have onion, we have Korean zucchini, carrot, and green onion. And then we also have a little bit of serrano for the sauce. We have sesame seeds and sesame oil also for the sauce. The minced garlic because I'm lazy and we also have marinated beef short rib which is also called bulgogi. Also pre-marinated because I'm lazy. Then we have two eggs. We have kimchi. I didn't make it. I got this from Hanba. So this broth is anchovy based and I don't really like to buy anchovies so I just got anchovy powder. I always use this for every single one of my soups. One more thing. I also have this ripe seaweed and this is for the garnish as well. So my audio wasn't working and I found out later but basically I added my water and I sliced half an onion and I dropped it in there. Afterwards, I put some anchovy powder in there to have more of a depth to the flavor. And don't add too much of this because your broth can taste pretty fishy. Afterwards, I will add some soy sauce and some fish sauce and just to taste however much you want. And then we're gonna slice our vegetables. I'm doing the julienne cut. Like, the, just, just look how I'm cutting it. Also, don't judge at how I cut because the knife is very, very dull. Afterwards, I'm gonna whisk two eggs and I'm just gonna fry that up. And make sure it's not thick. Make sure it's pretty thin. And just flip it over and cook it for a little bit more. Afterwards, we're gonna set it to the side for it to cool down and then we can cut it. The way that I cut it is I roll it up and then thinly slice it like so and it should look like this afterwards we're gonna get our vegetable and we're just gonna cook it for a little bit and make sure that you add some oil i added some garlic powder because i love garlic and this is how it should look this will be the toppings another topping option is kimchi i slice it very tiny into tiny pieces and then afterwards i'm gonna add some sesame oil and some sugar and I'm gonna mix it like this and set aside. Once I'm done, I'm gonna make the bulgogi and basically just, yeah, just cook it. Afterwards, I'm gonna set the bulgogi to the side and I'm gonna get my seaweed and I'm gonna basically just heat it up like that and it should be crispy and roasted and all you have to do is cut it into thin slices this is also a part of the toppings. I don't know why Korean people just love adding seaweed. And these are all the toppings. I'm just removing that off the fire and placing it in the toppings area. Another topping we have is going to be green onions. And I'm using this both as a topping and for the sauce that we're going to make on the side. So I'm going to put the green onions in a little bowl, a Tupperware. And I'm also going to chop some serrano peppers, also for the sauce. Now I can boil the water so that I could cook the noodles in and just let it boil. For the sauce, we're going to need some soy sauce and sesame oil, some sesame seeds, garlic. Damn, I should have put more. And we're going to also put some Korean chili flakes. Yeah, and it's going to taste super good. Now the soup is all done, I'm just gonna 
transfer the onions that has been cooking in there for 30 minutes out and I'm gonna toss that I'm gonna start cooking my noodles these noodles cook super fast you only need to leave it in for like three minutes and then I'm gonna cool it in the ice bath now we drain all the water and we're gonna portion it out obviously Jeremy gets way more than me and he likes noodles more than I do so this is the finished product we have the noodles we have the toppings and the sauce and so I basically pour the broth in there and I'm gonna have Jeremy just prepare his own putting as much as he wants and it's just a lot of nutritious things I also told him to eat the prugogi on the side so it's not too salty and here's him trying his first bite I'm so sad that the audio sucked, but it's okay. What'd you rate the food? I rate the food a solid 7.3. Wait, what did I say earlier? 8.3, damn Yeah, sorry, sorry. You gave it a... <laughs> <laughs> I rate the food a solid 8.3 out of 10. <laughs> okay, and you It get... was fresh. There was all kinds of delicious vegetables, meat. It just covered the whole nutrition spectrum. And as you know, I'm trying to improve my health. So that was really amazing about it. And the flavors were delicious soup on a cold sunday night absolutely delicious meal here's your michelin star your first one Ew, thank you. Ow, ow. <laughs> and i made you dessert oh what you making lime oh, wow and you put it it looks like you bought it from a store wow thank wow, you. you even put it in a plastic pouch give it a taste test give it a little sucky sucky now that you said that i can't do that so i'm gonna have to eat it like this <laughs> Wow, how'd you make this? Yeah. This is usually what Jeremy likes to eat as a snack. So lots of fruits, apples, cream pear, and kara kara oranges. Then we have yogurt with grapes and honey. And today we're using cashew milk yogurt, which is not that good, but we just wanted to try it. And then this is the honey that I drizzled. Uh, we bought that from the farmer's market. And yep, this is what he eats. Okay guys, this is the new podcast set. It's not finished yet and it's super messy. Look at the back. This is in my garage. But yeah, this is super cute. They painted this blue and this side green. And we're gonna hang up a lot of like artwork or like pictures of us um, in the back. And this is my favorite section, the snack section. I just organized this. We have the Hawaiian cookies, Kokoheim, Waiheim. The rice balls all nicely, the korebap, Korean snacks, and then this is like a strawberry, what is it, like a, it's called a french pie, strawberry french pie, more of those. We have lychee jelly, and then we also have these green grape candy, and then this, dude, this is so weird, but I love it, it's konjac. And it's like a Szechuan, like mala spice flavor. We have these Kit Kats, Haichu, and then we have Shin Ramen. Oh, I love it so much. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the snacks different every single time. Okay guys, it is eight o'clock PM. I'm super, super sleepy, but I gotta make dinner. And Jeremy gotta eat, so I'm gonna make some bibimbap. So the first thing that I gotta do is make the rice. I like jasmine rice. I did two cups jasmine rice and two cups water. And thank God I have a rice cooker. Okay. Oh, goody. The rice is done. Ooh, it's done perfectly. I just gotta mix it. Oh, yeah. Same way that I did the. for the chanchiguksu. All my knives are super dull, so it's hard to cut it. I'm going to be doing a couple things here. I'm going to be blanching the spinach, so I'm heating the water up. I'm going to be making miso soup in here, and then I'm going to cook the bulgogi in here. Bulgogi!
I'm cooking it on low heat because I don't want it to burn. In this station, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making the bibimbap sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of measure it. I'm gonna need like two of these. Then some sesame oil. Maybe the same amount of sugar. The same amount of water. And then some sesame seeds. This is rice vinegar. Maybe just like a little bit like that. Okay, there we go. This should taste good. Just mix. Trust me, the food that I make isn't pretty, but it tastes decent, I swear. Ooh, the meat, the meat, and the water is boiling. Get in there for like 30 seconds. So here, we're gonna cook, cook the vegetables. Give me a moment, some oil. I'm making sure that it's nicely getting coated with the oil, and then I'm gonna get some garlic powder that on there. Same with the carrots. I'm gonna saute it. I just tasted the sauce and the sauce is really good. Ready? we're gonna mix it. Mix it well. Make sure the oil is coated everywhere. We're not worrying too much about whether it's bland or not because like I said, the bulgogi and the sauce is gonna make up for it. Let me just mix it a little more and do a taste test. Mmm, good. As for the miso soup, the water was boiling. I'm just gonna get about, I'm gonna say this much miso. Get a little bit of water, hot water, and I'm just gonna break it down. And make sure there's no clumps in there. Make sure it's all smooth. And obviously, if you feel like it's bland, you could add more miso. And turn off the heat. It's done. Let's try it. So good. Easy. So all we got left to do is fry up the eggs. I like mine crispy and really fried. While that's cooking, I'm gonna put some rice in the bowl and start assembling. So I'm gonna assemble Jeremy's first. Actually, I'll just do everything all at once. Let's try to make this as pretty as possible, okay? He needs lots of vegetables. Then I could add the bulgogi here. You know, it's not my best work. <laughs> and then we'll add the egg on top. Last, not least, the fried egg. And then we could add the sauce. I'm gonna ask Jeremy to taste test. My love, dinner time. Dinner. <laughs> Peeping pop. Ooh. Come follow me. Here you go. Wait a second, where's yours? No, I'm making mine right now, but oh. try it first. Oh. Okay, so, you know, the peeping pop, miso soup, and the sauce. And then you could also eat it with oh, this if you want. Oh, it's called the sauce? It's called gochujang, come on. But it's not just gochujang. No. Okay, and should I get you some more sesame oil? Um, no, I think I'm fine. Okie dokes. All right, so let me, let me just get a quick first bite. You know, normally you're supposed to... No, mix everything. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You just mix it as you go, you know? You do like mm -hmm. a preliminary mix. All right, this bite has everything in it, I think. Okay. The zucchini, spinach, carrots. And the meat? Mm -hmm. And rice and egg. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> try the miso soup. Mm. I try to make it miso soup because there's probiotics and it's good for him. I'm a bubble boy. Yep. Yummy. 
Yup. This is actually good too. <laughs> They're all really, really. I was gonna make a joke and pretend. <laughs> You're oh, never man. serious. Okay, I'm gonna make mine. Okay, I'll be back. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Yummy. Let's split the soup. Try the try the hibiscus. Mm. I like a lot of gochujang in mine. It's alright. What? It's you don't like the oh you don't like it? I mean, it just doesn't it taste like the Waterloo yeah, it just strawberry? Exactly like Waterloo. It doesn't taste like hibiscus. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like strawberry Waterloo. I don't even know what hibiscus tastes like because yeah. of them. Like never sit on the couch. Yummy. I didn't even try it. Oh. <laughs> it was so enjoyable cooking for you. Was it? Yeah. I like I like cooking. I'm just like I'm just a little rusty, but oh, I will. Food is delicious. I think you just like healthy food. No, this is actually good. I would tell you if it was ass. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll try my best. But you just have to let me know what you want to eat because I feel like you all you say is like healthy food. Loki, I must be a, a shrimp because this is kind of spicy. Is it? Mm -hmm. You saw how much I used, right? Mmm. It's pretty spicy. Mm hmm. Oh, God. I thought I was being a poussoir. What's so spicy? Oh, I know why. The gochujang I use is like extra spicy. What do you rate this? That's what I rate it. 9 out of 10. Mm, really? Wow. Yeah. Not my favorite Korean food, but it's like you made it very delicious. Thank you. What would you like me to make for you next if, if we make future videos? Captain Crunch. From scratch. Oh. I guess I'll have to do it. Mm -hmm. Can I make, can I just make you like Cheerios from scratch? Like Honey, no, honey Nut Cheerios? Mm -hmm. Peanut Butter Crap and Crunch. How do, we, how do they even get the like the Captain Crunch flavor? I don't flavor? know. Figure it out. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see bonus content, subscribe at www.undertheinfluence.show. Bye. Griffin. What? Why does she pin... Carpet's ear back and started licking inside. She's yeah, a weirdo. Every little inch. Hello. Hello. Hey, stop. She's doing her job. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. She didn't like that. She didn't like that. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look at her ears. How <laughs> dare you do that to her? She was cleaning. Okay, she said switch spots. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she said no mask. Look, her ears still pinned back. That's so funny. You're so cute. And you're so cute too. Sit. Lulu, sit. Good girl. Sit, paw. Other paw. Give me the other paw. Oh, okay. Other paw. Good girl, bunny.